Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I'm an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. This video is actually one of five very special videos that I'm making to introduce y'all to my brand new book and the patterns that are in it. The name of my book is Big Yarn, Beautiful Lace Knits, and the idea behind it is that it is all knitting patterns that feature lace but are worked up in bulky or super bulky yarns and it's really fun the effect that you get with this big yarn it gets graphic and it knits up super fast because it's on big fat needles so it's a win win I'd like to encourage you to check in the description notes below the video where you will find links to the Ravelry pattern pages and all of the details for all of the different patterns I'm talking to you about and of course, the amazing photographs by the knitwear photographer, Gail Zucker. I was so happy she was able to work with me on this book. Um, also in the description below, you will find a link to the Amazon page where you can get the book. Of course, I encourage you to check with your local yarn store and see if they can carry it or might be able to order it for you. But I know not everyone has access to an LYS, so the Amazon link will be there and you can always get it there. Now. The format of this video is a little bit different than what I normally do, so that just in case you don't have enough time, the next little chunk of the video is going to have still photographs by Gail Zucker, and then um, with the details, like this, the, the stats for it, like the yarn and the needles, and so you have all that information, and you can get it in one nice, neat little package. But if you have the extra time, I'd love for you to hang around after that, where I will actually be putting each of the patterns through its paces. I will be playing with them and showing you to them and maybe styling them and talking to you about the inspiration behind them. This particular video has... Um, an interesting assortment of pieces. They are kind of the um, things that were passion that I decided I really wanted to do them that might not fit in the other categories. We have ponchos and a vest and a blanket. So let's get right to it. I decided to start out this video actually wearing one of the pieces so that I could make sure I had it on right. Let me back up so you can see. This is a... Poncho. Uh, let's get closer so you can see it. <laughs> I'm too short. So this is one of the two ponchos in the book. This one is called Rasanade, which of course is the horse ridden by Don Quixote, but also, and I have to admit the inspiration behind the name, one of my current favorite science fiction uh, ships from The Expanse is the Rasanade. So that is where that name came from. Just wanted to pay tribute to something I'm currently enjoying the heck out of. It is one of the styles of ponchos that you can see. I'm going to take it off. This is the kind of poncho where it's knit in a rectangle. So you can see, I'll show you the inside. There's the seam and you start here and knit in that direction 
and I'll show you, you can see we're going, actually you start, you started on the other end. You start here. <laughs> I was looking at upside down. So you start here because then you get these cool little jaggies and you knit in this direction and you end up with a big rectangle. And then you take the rectangle and you sew the bound off edge. <laughs> it's good because I can't find it. You sew the bound off edge, which is straight, to the end. Here. This is like doing a puppet show. So you can see the yarn is running in this direction. So this is, this is the direction. You knit this way, okay? And the pattern's running this way. And you bring it around and you sew it so you can see the directionality of the knitting is this way and it creates this poncho shape. I can tell you there is a schematic and a diagram in the book showing you how to do this. But if I fold it on the seam, you've got this. Um, you can fold it, I don't know. There's a bunch of different ways to wear it. It is super cool. This is in Spud and Chloe Outer, which is a wool cotton blend. The color is Sequoia. This one is one of the fatter yarns. It is knit on size 15 needles. This thing, I mean, it takes almost no time to knit this. You could probably, if you were very determined, finish it in a day. It is not very many stitches on. Now you do have to block it in its rectangle shape and that's when you put the points on. You block it in the rectangle shape and after you've blocked it and it's completely dried, then you seam it together. So it is absolutely, I love it. You can see, let me back up a little bit. So it is a funny shape but it wears super cool. Uh, if you wanted, there are some notes, if you wanted to change the size of it or change the neckline, you can change the length of it. It's a super flexible pattern. I tried to do that in a lot of these patterns in this book. So that's Rasanade. And then you've probably noticed my silent partner is standing here, but the thing is she's even shorter than me. And this is knit in the small size, so it doesn't fit me. Believe it or not, there's something in my book in sizes. Ah, it's my first garment, so I'm gonna pick her up and show her to you. This is, <laughs> it is what's called a waterfall cardigan. So it is like a vest, essentially. And look, I love this so much. So the way it works is it's just open. It doesn't have any buttons. Come here, lady. <laughs> but if you have like a shawl pin and you want to close it, you can put it over like that and it looks really cool. Let me take it off of the mannequin because she's too short. So I can show you the lace. Look, again, it's a rectangle with armholes. Look at that. This is a really good example about how working in the bulky yarn just makes the lace like huge and it's graphic. I think it still looks like it looks delicate still, but it's just got a much different impact. So this one you cast on the width and so what you're looking at here at the bottom is the bottom and you're working from this way, this direction. And then what happens is you put, when you reach the point where you need to make your armholes, you put the two sides on waist yarn, finish the stockinette center, and then you go over and pick up and do one arm and then the other half, and then you do them all together again with this lace neckline. Um, I'm gonna see if I can put it on. This is the small, so it's not gonna fit me. It's not gonna lay correctly, but I mean, I can get it on. It's supposed to be oversized. And so what I was saying, you take this, you can put, see, and there's not enough of this on me 
but I mean, I could wear it if I wanted to. It just, it doesn't fit the way it's supposed to fit. You're supposed to have a lot more of this to pull around and be all drapey and flowy and stuff. It's really, I'm excited about it. It's my first ever actual garment. Um, and another thing about this, so this is knit in Knit Picks Brava Bulky. And what that means is it's 100% acrylic. This is, again, I try in the book to show you that lace can be done in almost any fiber you want to knit it in. So this is, again, it's a bulky yarn. Um, hmm. 136 yards in 100 grams. And it's knit on a size 13. You're going to need a long, relatively long circular needle because again, it's knit width wise. But I'll show, hold it up and show it to you one more time. Oh, did I tell you what the name of this is? I totally didn't tell you what the name of this. So this is what's called a waterfall cardigan because these front panels are, they fall, right? So I started looking at the names of interesting waterfalls and I found one called Iguazu. <laughs> and I just like the word. It's I-G-U-A-Z-U, Iguazu Falls. And so this is the Iguazu Falls cardigan, vest, whatever you wanna call it. And again, it's in 100% acrylic yarn. We're gonna put it over here. Oh, I disappeared. I'm back. Now, the next one is another poncho. I don't know that I can put this on because this one was specifically designed to be warm. And again, it's another um, rectangle. And this one you knit side to side this way, you start this way, and then you go and you just knit, 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 and then you fold it in half, and then there's a seam here, leaving a neck hole. Let me see if I can put it on. It's really hot. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to see it because the lace is on the bottom. So you just throw it on and it's got a little bit of extra. So if you want a cowl or you want a little breathing room, I mean, <laughs> so it, this, the top part, well, you can see it in the arm. The top part is solid, so it will keep you warm, but I wanted the decorative lace on the bottom. So you can see we've got this nice wide lace panel at the bottom, but it's got a lot of, uh, it's not too open, and since it's still all solid up here, this is still gonna keep you warm, but allow you to have your super pretty lace. So I'm taking off because it's hot. This is super snugly warm. This is Cascade uh, Eco Plus, and it's 100% wool. It comes in big giant skeins. And let me show you this is what the lace pattern looks like. I called it the hearts in chains poncho because I thought these motifs, here, I'll do it this way. I thought this looked like a heart and then these down the end looked like chains. So it's hearts between chains. So I called it hearts and chains. There's nothing sad here, it's just the name. This is the second piece in my book that was knit by my sample knitter, um, Kelly. Thank you so much, Kelly. Again, this is one that had a lot of yardage, and if I had had to take the time to knit this whole thing, I would have been really, really behind. You start with, I'll start and end with a little bit of ribbing to prevent curling, but on the edge, I really wanted this kind of nice, there's a little bit of ribbing on the edge, but I wanted this nice curled, the what you consider a, a rolled neckline. So that is a little there. But on the bottom, you know, it looks good. If it bugs you, you could probably add a couple more stitches and make it a little uh, more ribbing, but there. 
This is the Hearts in Chains Poncho. And it is snuggly, snuggly warm. And then the final. So this video is a little bit of a mishmash because it has the two ponchos and it has the vest. And this is sort of the used a whole lot of yarn video because this final one, it, it just, I just had to design it because oh, I just went off screen. This last piece, I just really wanted to design it because one thing that you can do with bulky yarn is actually knit a blanket relatively quickly. It's not going to take your entire life. So this is actually my very, like, just like that was my very first like vest garment. This is my first blanket and this is the signet throw. Let me show it to you. I'm just, just going to be a little quiet just so you can look at it. Look, I, so I called it the signet throw because I thought it looked sort of like, you know, those signet rings, the, the symbol of someone. It's, it's just, and the idea that you might knit this, I mean, it'd be great for a throw, but also for a baby. Uh, so it's an heirloom piece. And you know, signet is like one of those like family Christ kind of things. It starts in the center. Ooh and grows out from there. This is one of the pieces that the only instructions are charted. The vest is the same way. These bigger pieces, the charts are so complex that we couldn't include it written out instructions. So when you get up into the more complex pieces, you're gonna need to be able to read a chart. This is another one. So this is in Lion Brand Yarns, Wool Ease Thick and Quick. <laughs> and on size 13 needles. So this is 80% acrylic and 20% wool. You have to steam heat block it, but once it's blocked, it stays blocked. So you can then, you know, put this in the wash. Now I wouldn't throw it necessarily in the dryer um, because of the wool content, but it will hold its block once it's been set. This one also features twisted stitches, which just like how the lace becomes this big, bold statement in the bulky yarn, the twisted stitches just pop out like crazy. So this is quite possibly the most ornate thing in the book. It is worked in the round because you start from the center, but I just, I love it. I wouldn't have designed it if I didn't, but I think it would look great at the end of your bed or thrown over the back of your couch. It's just, and it won't take forever to knit it because it's bulky and it knits up fast. So that is the signet throw. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Look into some of the new patterns in my new book, Big Yarn, Beautiful Lace Knits. Make sure to check in the description notes below for more information and get a copy of this book for yourself so you can knit things up. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up, click that like button. And if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe to my channel and select notifications. Thank you so much.